Well, if you rent, then you know it's expensive. And get this, over the last year, Indianapolis has seen the highest rental price increase in the country. Yes, tonight, Matthew Fultz explains why we're seeing this upward trend and the prediction of when we could see prices come back down. Well, experts tell me we need to start seeing more of this before we can see the price of rent start to go down, and that could take some time. A new report from House Canary says the Metro Indy area saw a rent increase of about 30 percent last year, the highest in the country. Because Indy is so strong economically. The report shows the average Indy rent rose $400 over the last year, despite most cities across the country seeing a decline. You look at employment and population growth, household growth, wage growth, uh, all those kind of things. It's very strong. And then the, the constraint on the on the housing side as far as how expensive it is to get a home due to the shortage of supply and the, and the, and the high construction. IU Director of Real Estate Studies Doug McCoy says the metro area has so much happening right now that it's forcing rent increases. At the state level, lawmakers are working on legislation that could help tenants struggling with rent increases. We passed um, a tool for Marion County to be able to provide incentives, do infrastructure upgrades, um, to provide grants and loans to um, toward the goal of increasing the amount of affordable housing in Indianapolis. Representative Justin Moed authored the bill and says it's something to combat rising rates. Meanwhile, McCoy says there is still some hope that prices could start to drop here in Indy by the end of this year. And eventually, probably in the next 12 months, we're going to start to see supply increasing again on the multifamily side, on the rental side, and that that supply will help, um, you know, temper that increase. Now, even with the rent increase, Indy still remains one of the country's top 10 least expensive cities to live in. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm Matthew Foltz, 13 News.